Hello and welcome to another update video about Harmony One. Haven't covered it for uh, for a few days now, and we want to take a look at where we are. At the moment, I think we are still in a downtrend, even though it looks promising at the moment. We start to move through these um, daily EMAs here to the upside. After our high at 38 cents, we've obviously been correcting down. We've been cooling off. There was an attempted breakout here out of this channel to the upside. Well, that did fail. And since then, we've been moving down with the last huge drop happening on the 4th of December in line with Bitcoin. That drop led from 25 cents all the way down to around 13.5 cents. That was a nearly a 50% drop. Since then, we have recovered a little bit and we're now moving a little bit higher here. So we need to be a bit careful with, with this one. Um, nevertheless, I think how many one will have a great future, especially next year. Nevertheless, I think we need to be we need to be a bit bit careful here, um, and I'll tell you why. So we've got here had here our triangle, symmetrical triangle, which is normally trend continuation. We need to be careful that we're not getting too bullish here, um, because we are still in this sort of downtrend. We are still not out of this descending trend line. You can see that we tried it. We failed so far. If we break above it, I think then we can we can expect some further moves to the upside, especially if we move above 21.7 cents. That would be the 0.5 FIB level here. At the moment, we are still below that. Um, people might already get too bullish here. And I'm not saying we are not going to break out, but we need to. I'd like to see that breakout first, to be honest. And then if we break here above that 21.7 cent level, then we can move to the next FIB level, 20, um, the 0 0.382 FIB level at 25.6 cents. Before we continue with Harmony One though, I'd like to draw your attention to Crypto.com who are kindly sponsoring this video. And Crypto.com is the world's fastest crypto app. You can download it from the App Store or the Google Play Store and use it on your smartphone. You can then join over 10 million users to buy and sell over 200 cryptocurrencies at true cost. You can get a Crypto.com Visa card. It's a metal Visa card and they look pretty cool and they work really, really well. And you can get up to 8% cashback or crypto coins back and you can grow your portfolio by receiving rewards up to 14.5% on your crypto assets. So if we take a look at the cards, I have one as well. I think it is the best system in terms of Visa credit cards um, for cryptos. There are no annual fees. You need Crow to get one of these, depending on how many Crow you have and you are willing to stake. You can get one of these um, different tiers and they have all different benefits. They look different and they all have different benefits starting from Midnight Blue here all the way up to Obsidian. And you can see the card benefits here. For example, Netflix, if you, for example, were to get Royal Indigo here or Jade Green and you were paying your Netflix subscription with that, you get 100% of that um, yeah, free as discount. So you won't have to pay anything for your Netflix or your Spotify. And even here with the um, Frosted Rose Gold or Icy White, you don't have to pay anything for um, Amazon Prime. Yeah, and then there are discounts for Expedia and other uh, platforms here. So check it out. I do have one as well, as I said. And if you use my link to get to crypto.com and then decide to sign up for one of these Visa cards, both of us get a small bonus. So the 25.6 cent level is the next one then. And then after that, we have 31 cents and then the all time high at 38 cents. So these are the key resistance levels going forward on the chart here. If we lose, however, so should we not be able to break out? I think then we have obviously support at this descending trend line of the triangle. And then we might bounce back into the triangle. And the key support then will be here, the 0.786 FIB level at 12.4 cents. We already nearly came to it. Um, therefore, I think probably you will see major support here first at 13.5 cents before, um, should we really lose it again. And that to a degree also depends on Bitcoin. I mean, we can see that it is sort of decoupling itself from Bitcoin at the moment by breaking here out of this triangle to the upside. Bitcoin hasn't done that. Bitcoin is still in its pattern, in its triangle pattern. Um, how many one has, however. Um, I did expect the price to come down lower together with other cryptos, um, maybe once again here to the 13 and a half cent level. And that might still be at play. I mean, don't, don't forget in this downtrend here, we were already above this, this uh, descending trend line and we failed and we broke down again. And then we broke down again. So this could happen again, you know. If we take a look here at how impulsive the move to the downside was, 
and then you had a corrective move up, a corrective in nature, so A, B, C. Then we move down, yeah, one, two, three, this might be the four, and this might be the five only coming now. And if we take a look at, um, there you go, the last, the last move down, so I just take these fib levels out. So if we see the last move down and you take a wave count into consideration because you know if, if this is a larger correction it would play out in a larger ABC and in a smaller scale this probably is then the C wave to the downside at the moment and as part of that a wave C consists of five waves so you will have something like one two three four and the five still to come which would be in line with my primary expectation that we come down once more here at least to the wave three probably even a little bit lower um, and that wave four we need to look at the fib uh, the retracement levels yeah and the reason why i say we need to be a bit careful here not that we don't break out but that we just need to be a bit careful and mindful of it is that this wave four retracement is the perfect retracement for a wave four the 0.382 fib level at 21.3 cents if we climb above 21.3 cents, then it's more likely, it's getting more likely that this is not a wave four retracement anymore. No, then it's getting more likely that this is actually getting an impulsive wave to the upside and we can expect further upside. So I would say as soon as you break here, definitely above the 21.7 FIB level that I just showed you, this will then confirm, I think, that we're back in an uptrend because you have, this is a tipping point. So you have this currently in a downtrend, one, two, three, four, five to the downside. You know that these moves always go in the direction of the high level trend, a five wave structure. If you basically now retrace more than the wave four ideal target level of 0.382 FIB level at 21.4 cents, at 21 point, yeah, 21.3, 21.4, then you basically retrace too much and it is getting more likely that you then start to move up. Yeah, I hope that was clear because that's very crucial here. So all of these moves here, one, two, three, four, five, they do have ideal target levels, yeah? They have, um, they have, um, th this is basically based on the rules for the Elliott waves, yeah? And this is exactly what we see with Bitcoin at the moment. If Bitcoin is retracing too much, then we can see that play out to the upside. At the moment, this is still, for me, a move down, still in an impulsive move to the downside. We've got three factors here playing together that will determine if we're getting back into an uptrend or not. In my view, that makes it worth to observe that. So one is the retracements here for the wave four. If we move any higher than 21.3 or four, yeah, you know, with a bit up and down, you know, give it a bit of play, but, um, then this is likely that this is not a way four anymore. Then it getting, it's getting likely that this might become a first impulsive structure to the upside. Um, this one thing, so I'll take that out and we talk about the, the next aspect. So the next aspect were those FIB levels that I just showed you before. Um, or let me just reverse all of that. So there you go, we've got them back. So if we then move up from here, you have from the other way around, from the beginning of that wave here on the 20th of July to the top, um, you get your FIB levels of that move to the upside and the retracement levels to the downside show us here this 0.5 FIB level as resistance of 21.7 cents. So also here, we just below that. And we've got this descending trend line here. So also here, we are just below that. So we need to see a breakout above, definitely above 21.7 cents. If you see that, I think then we can talk um, much more with a much more likelihood about a start of an impulsive move here to the upside. This is where we are currently. Um, I personally primarily expect um, it to come down once more in line with Bitcoin. That doesn't say that we couldn't temporarily break out like this one. So it's, it's you know, it's starting, it's time to be, be a bit careful. We need to see when things are turning around here. We are not definitely not in a in a confirmed uptrend yet. Um, overall, in 2022, I expect Harmony One to do really well. If we take a look here at the FIB levels um, and the current, whoops, no, I didn't want to do that. If we take a look at the FIB levels and where we could get to next year, because if this was a larger wave here to the upside and we are retracing now, 
possibly to the 0.786 or even the 0.887 FIB level, I would expect the next move then next year to reach at least 58 cent, the 1.618 FIB level, or even 200% 70 cent or the 2.618 at 90 cent. I think that is all very realistic, but Harmony One could also surprise us next year. I think it is one of the next ones really to become, uh, to get a lot of focus. And we could possibly even see a dollar or 150 just purely out of um, what Harmony One can offer from, from, the, from a fundamental point of view and how we're now correcting down. I think there's a lot of scope here to the upside. And especially, I think if we take a look at, well, let's just take a look at the stochastic um, RSI where we are here. I haven't looked at it for a while, but I would say we are probably getting here into the oversold area. Oh yeah, if we take a look on the weekly, the weekly nicely shows us here higher lows on the RSI anyway, which is positive. The weekly also shows us that on the weekly MACD, we are actually um, coming down here. The good thing is though, that we are not seeing here a bearish divergence. We've seen a bearish divergence on the Bitcoin chart, for example, um, which is slightly more negative. So that is playing out at the moment. For Harmony One, we don't have a bearish divergence, but I still think that it is going to follow Bitcoin to a degree when we're moving down here. So that is something to be very aware of. Um, but on the stochastic RSI here on the weekly, we can see that we are oversold. Yeah, but I think it would leave us a little bit of scope to move further down before we move up. Yeah, it is something to be aware of. I think we have a little bit more scope to move down here before we turn around and move up. But it is something for 2022 to keep in mind. You see those major cycles here on the weekly R uh, on the weekly stochastic RSI for Harmony One. But overall, I think we're not we're not out of the woods yet. Yeah, we're still sort of in this downtrend, and we need to see a move above 21.7 cents. Until then, for me, we are in a downtrend, and uh, I would like to see that confirmation first. Definitely good signs, you know. Definitely good signs. We found support down here. Have another larger green candle now, and would be good to see next week another green candle. Um, that pushes us higher through that 21.7 cent level. Nevertheless, I think these are good prices for Harmony One, depending on you know how long do you actually want to be in there. Um, but for a long-term perspective for next year, I mean, it, it doesn't really matter if you buy a 20 or 12 cent. Yeah, it sort of does matter, but to start dollar cost averaging in, I think these are interesting prices and Harmony One will, in my view, survive any bear market. There will also not be a bear market in my view again, um, if we talk about Bitcoin hitting below 30K, I think Bitcoin will um, recover very quickly. Yeah, This would not be a long bear market in my view. If we drop to that level for Bitcoin, I think we're going to see it pump up fairly soon. Similar to what we did back here in um, early in the year between April and July. So that's my view on Harmony One. Gave you the key support resistance levels. Talked about us being in a temporary downtrend still. And I talked about my prediction for 2022. So hopefully you liked the update. If you did, please smash the like button and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.